So in this video, I'll be telling you how to know if you are being impersonated online. I know in so many cases, some people are being impersonated online, but they don't know that they are being impersonated online. For example, you might have your social media account with your name, your real name, and then there might be another social media account that has your exact same name and is using your photos and is using every single detail about you but i mean you won't know the person might be committing fraud or the person might be trying to scam people but you wouldn't know so it's your image that is being tarnished i have a particular application or a website that helps me to know if i'm being impersonated online but i would not share that today because i recently found out that there are some that are better than what i currently use so i'll create a separate video to compile the list of the good platforms and websites you can use to know if you are being impersonated online so basically what the application or website will do is it will scour the internet or it will go around the internet checking for duplicate information that matches the information that you might have imputed on their website or on their portal if you know you're interested in that video consider subscribing and also turning on the notification bell so that whenever i upload the video you will be notified immediately it does not matter if you don't have the application or the website to help you do this you can also follow some manual procedures to help you to know if someone is impersonating you online and how do you do this the first thing to do is you know for example if you use facebook or you use instagram or you use snapchat or tiktok or whatever social media platform you use let's use facebook for example all you need to do is go to facebook and type in your exact facebook username for example my name is Emmanuel Mbwemena so what i'll do is i'll type my exact name on Facebook and then search. After doing the search, it will give you lots of, obviously I'm not the only person bearing, I'm not the only person with the name Emmanuel Mbwemena. So what it does is that it will give you lots of other people using that same account name. And what you need to do is check for anyone that is using your details or for anyone that is using your image. Sometimes someone could be using your image by impersonating you. So you can go ahead and check if someone is using your image or you can go ahead to check if someone is using your exact details to register the Facebook account. So all might be using your exact details, your image, your name, your address, and any of your personal details. And the reason or the way the people might have gotten it is if you're a victim of identity theft, you might have filled some of these surveys or these online surveys or some of these forms. And that is why I always advise don't fill or don't randomly fill forms that you don't know the origin, except it's your friend that you personally know that says, oh, please help me fill this form and it is for this reason then you can go ahead and fill the form and you need to be conscious when filling the form don't fill forms that require you to give personal information like your address or some detailed personal information about you except you know what they are using the data for or except they have some sort of data privacy um, clause that is attached to it you shouldn't be filling all those surveys okay that's very important also the way most people become victims of identity theft is because most people also especially those that are searching for jobs they go ahead to send their cvs to different organizations to different um, people they don't once they just see any job opportunity they don't know if the company is legitimate they don't know anything about the um, website there could be the, person, the most scammers or most of these hackers or thieves or identity thieves online are posing to they just create a website and then they tell you that a job um, application website or something of that sort like like websites like indeed or my job mag in nigeria and some of these websites that help you to or that put listings for jobs so you might see all these fake ones and once you're putting your cv they have some of your personal details also on those cvs and they can use it to um maybe your email will obviously be there some people also put their phone numbers some of these details will be collected and used for things like this so avoid or reduce the way you put your information online there's some information that shouldn't be online like your home address and um, your phone numbers or there are some things that shouldn't be online i've done vi several videos detailing all those i will link them also in the description or in the comment section so what do you do if you eventually find someone that is impersonating you on all those social media accounts or social media platforms first thing you should do is you need to engage with the person and confirm if the person has the same details with you but it's unlikely that someone will have your exact name obviously someone can have your exact name but it's unlikely that they have your your phone number your exact home address and your picture why would the person be using your picture in the first place so engage with the person tell the person that the person should take down those details or the images and everything if the person does not give any uh, any positive feedback or if the person does not respond to you then you need to report that account there are ways you can report each social media account you can report the profile you, once you just look for it you'll find a way to report the profile but if you don't have to report the profile you can just go ahead and check online how to report 
a, an Instagram account or how to report a Facebook account or whatever social media account that is, you can go ahead and report it so that it will be investigated by that social media platform. Also, you can let your friends know that there's someone that is impersonating you. This is just general information or general knowledge. You let them know that there's someone that is impersonating you and then if the person tries to contact them, that they should be careful. And you can also tell them to go ahead and report that account but you need to make sure that the person is really impersonating you i know the manual procedure is looking very tough and very i mean it's cumbersome but hopefully when once i'm done with those videos you will see platforms or you see these websites and applications that can help you automate this whole process of identifying accounts that are impersonating you then the second thing you need to do is report to the police well this one i know in some countries uh, the police does not really do much in terms of your online safety or in terms of cyber safety but there are some countries like the usa where the police really take cyber safety or cyber security really important and go ahead and report to the police that there's someone that is impersonating you and then put the evidence take the screenshot of the account and everything it's really important to take the screenshot the moment you find the account take the screenshot as an evidence to show that there was someone that was really impersonating you go to the profile take all the detail take the screenshot of all the details and just keep it for reference purposes the last thing is consider working on your online safety hygiene. If you know that you are someone that does not take online safety um, very importantly, you need to do that now because with, if, if that is not put into consideration, things like this will continue to happen. You will see people impersonating you all the time. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to this channel and I will see you in my next video.